when our mum and dad were singing these songs, uh, this was back where dad had a big afro and flares, <laughs> smoked a pipe, mum had a caftan and long hair. She was a bit of a Joan Baez wannabe. I'm sure Antoinette here remembers those days well. I think it was you, Antoinette, that um, dad was trying to get me to talk to you in the break when I, I was busting to go to the loo and thought I'd be back on stage and I, I didn't talk to you, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, but too I'm much info and doesn't involve everyone. <laughs> but I'm going to talk to you after the show. Thanks for that, that's riveting. I just wanted to publicly acknowledge <laughs> Antoinette. Anyway, this was back in the, um, the yeah, when they, when they wore all their hippie clothes and they used to sing these beautiful songs for us. Anyway, uh, Mum and Dad um, came on tour with us and we thought you might like to hear Dad sing one of his songs with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so now, my colleague and all the way now, to go. now he hasn't got the afro and in fact Mum tells me she's having secret asides with his hairdresser. To, oh, to say, up. to clip down the little bits, the high bits. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, just so there's no confusion for anyone who buys the CD, um, this song, The Maritime, is sung by a wonderful uh, singer-songwriter who you probably all know, Enda Kenny. Oh, Dad, um, you could have got away with it. They would have no, thought it was you. I don't want them to be <laughs> <laughs> You won there. chance. Enda Kenny is a very fine <laughs> singer, but tonight yeah. you're stuck with me. Um, <laughs> but on the other hand, it gives me the chance to um, sing with the girls again, like we used to do all the time when they were young. Um, this song is called The Maritime, and I, I asked John about it, um, and he said that he wrote it um, on the, um, the docks at... Um, um, Christchurch, um, where his grandfather used to be a stevedore, and he was sailing in and out of that port. And, and um, John was sitting on the docks one day thinking about his grandfather and also planning his own escape from um, New Zealand to Melbourne, where he wanted to pursue a career in the arts, music, and songwriting, um, coming as he did from a highly academic family who were all doctors and lawyers and whatever, and he was the black sheep, as he says, of a family who didn't want that as a career. He wanted to be to be creative, and uh, he was tr he was thinking about the grandfather and also escaping. And this song is called the Maritime. You oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> You were so sucked into the story. But you know, Jen, you know, Jen, this is exactly what happened at home when we used to... Dad was our first guitarist, but every jam would go, OK, girls, let's have a sing. Where's the capo? And then we'd have to look through the house for about two hours. Like, oh, OK, finally, when we dragged the capo out of the dog's kennel, we're like, OK, let's start. Then it's like, oh, well, what key's the song in? And we'd try... We'd have a big... I don't care. The, I don't care. The, I don't care. <laughs> too high, bring it down. And we had to go through about 10 different keys and we'd finally get it right. And then, then Dad would be like, no, Alana, stop trying to be Judy Garland and sing louder than your sister. You have to blend. You've got to blend up. He was our first guitarist, our first singing coach. Yeah. But it was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared I've made a mistake. I usually think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the boat this evening Reaching out across the water Moving slowly past the bridges To the entrance of the harbor Let there be a boat's fare I might find it to take me further Backs against the reeds and outward bound Outward bound, leaving everything I found and without regret. And I will pack my things and follow while I can. And I'm 
sentimental ocean going mad and reflections from the windows of the cars out on the tarway as I lay against the jetty with the wall against my shoulder and I strain my ears to listen to the creaking of the candles, the endless water glisten. Hey, can you hear that restless call? Restless call. We believe in at the turning all the time. And I would pack my things and follow. Sentimental ocean going mad. The water is high. Sorrow boat at sea. I cannot cross. Reaching out across the water. And neither. Moving slowly past the bridges. I wish to the entrance of the harbor. Let there be a bird as fair. That can get me to Backs against the breeze, my love and I. Oh, oh. 